All right. Now, we've been talking about the word inflammation quite a bit up to this point. So let's take a quick look at what inflammation is. Now, there's two types. There's acute, and this is when, in, in the picture here, there's a broken wrist or some sort of injury. And that's good because what happens is the area gets inflamed, and that's your body going into healing mode, right? But chronic inflammation is different. This is what underline, underlies all disease and suppressed immunity. And the fact is that our children's gut issues lead to this chronic inflammation, which affects their ability to grow. It affects their ability to learn, develop, socialize, all of it. And if you take a look at the Time Magazine cover, this is not a science that's in the shadows anymore. This is becoming mainstream, and we can capitalize on the latest science and developments to help our children heal. So how does this relate to autism, okay? Well, let's take a quick look at a study published last year. <clears throat> Researchers, what they did is they induced rats to have this systemic inflammation. And it's the same type of inflammation that happens with poor diet and a compromised gut. And then they measured what happened in their brains and behavior. And it's, it's incredible. So what happened was, first thing, there was significant cell death in the cortex and hippocampus in the brain. So brain cells died. Two, they had reduced brain cell formation, so they weren't, brain cells weren't growing anymore. Next, a uh, hormone called oxytocin was significantly down-regulated. Now what this is, don't get too caught up in the name, but oxytocin is that hormone that helps us feel love and social connection. Um, when you hold a baby, you're first in love, you're just flooded with that feel-good chemical, and in autism, that is typically low, okay? And when there's inflammation, it lowers it, even more. So there's gene alterations that are similar to what we see in ASD. There's increased sensitivities. So sound, things like that. Um, repetitive behaviors, deficits in memory, social memory and social activities, sleep issues, and even abnormal locomotion. So, you know, movement is a little bit awkward. And all of these alterations were more evident in male than in female rats. Hmm. Sound familiar? All of these things were caused by inflammation. So one of our main jobs is to reduce the inflammation and get our kids out of that constant fight mode and back into healing and growing. Is this making sense? <laughs>